Alright, check this out. We have a 15 inch HP Omen with a 6 core i7, the RTX 2070 Super Max Q, and an OLED Ultra HD display. This video will demonstrate one way that I test Battlefield 5 as I gather information for a review, future content, or exploring hardware combinations. Starting with the firing range, I'll begin with a good heat soak, 10 minutes minimum, with the system running at maximum power at max fan speed if possible. I'll unlock the frame rate by hitting the tilde key and typing game time dot max variable FPS space 300. I'll test it ultra, high, medium, and low presets, making sure future frame rendering is on along with my preferred 90 degree field of view. This is not a CPU bound as a 64 player match and we'll explore that shortly, but it does let me know how well the CPU can feed the GPU based on wattage of the CPU and GPU utilization. We have solid GPU utilization until we hit the low setting preset and then GPU utilization falls off ever so slightly. Meanwhile, the CPU wattage moves up as we move the in-game settings down. This is correct per normal testing. I have tested several GPUs like this over the years. Over the last 10 years, I have racked up four digit hours in these titles. I'm very comfortable with the Frostbite engine and knowledgeable with how it uses hardware. Then I take this to multiplayer, where I spend most of my time at ultra settings while I observe GPU utilization across several maps. This particular title at 12 CPU threads is pretty well off. Anything less, especially on lower clocked mobile CPUs, is asking for poor minimum frame rates, and anything more is always welcome but yields little return unless streaming. Those numbers will scale differently as core performance dramatically changes. When this CPU is under a combined load with the GPU in this particular laptop, it'll pull wattage near 60 watts with rare occasions above. Many gaming laptops used to limit this to 45 watts, and it's nice to see HP take this omen seriously and tune it properly. Of course, none of this matters if the cooling solution can't hack it, but this one is holding up well, even six months later. Performance here is a bit better than average, thanks to the generous CPU wattage and multiplexer switch to eliminate any potential Optimus bottleneck. What I would really like to see is CPU core performance double at this same wattage with this same GPU performance. That way we can scale our in-game settings down and still maintain high GPU utilization like we saw in the firing range earlier in this video. This would satisfy so many users, whether it's from the eSports crowd or those who wish to keep their laptop for several years and value frame rates over eye candy. The latter would then be able to scale their settings down and still get great frame rate scalability.